welcome back to the Sterling Engine Locomotive Project. Um, so I've done it, I've got the engine all together. Um, I'm really happy to get to this point. Um, once I get to the end of a project, it can be a little bit hard uh, sometimes to push through um, to completion, uh, but, I'm, but I'm there now. So um, yeah, uh, yeah, mo most of the stuff went to plan. Um, I've got a few, a few um, things I'm a little bit worried about. Um, we shall have to wait for test day to find out uh, whether they are problems or not. Um, I'll take you with the engine in a minute. So the controls to the engine, um, as you saw in the uh, the video clips I've just shown you. So I've got a forward and reverse on that lever there, um, and that controls the um, the gearbox forward and reverse. Uh, reverse is a bit of a lower gear than forward on that. Uh, I've got the handbrake, which you already seen. Um, this rod here, um, I haven't got anything on it yet. Um, I will put a little uh, a lever on there. Basically, that all that turns this valve here. Um, this is a three-way valve, um, so in one position it uh, sucks air in, and in the other position it blows valve, uh, blows air out. Um, so what I'm hoping is, um, in its normal, uh, it, it sucks air in normally and doesn't let it out, um, but when you want to stop the engine, I'm hoping by letting air out and not letting anything back in again, it'll stop the flapping um, that the previous engine suffered from when you when you shut the engine down. Uh, yep, so the diaphragm seals, uh, they're all in place. Um, whether there's enough compression, I don't know. I, I calculated it as best I can, but the problem with these diaphragm seals is they're ultimately a piece of fabric. Um, so trying to get, get it cracked is, is sometimes a bit of a troll and error. Um, I haven't measured the uh, compression ratio of the engine. Uh, I'm just going to run it during test day and see what happens. Um, quite happy the little flywheel, that's in place. It's pretty central. It is a little bit off, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, I can feel the compression. So at least it's got some compression. Um, see the gear drive, gear, uh, the primary chain drive there. I've got the idler sprocket on it there. Uh, I was going to have this sprung originally, but to be fair, I've just, just uh, tightened it up and it, it seems okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what else to say, really. Uh, yeah, I've got the um, the elastic bands there. Uh, that's that's meant to um, take up some of the load of the compression within the engine. Because if you imagine, if the engine's under pressure inside, it's pushing these diaphragms out. Um, I was trying to, by, by having these elastic bands here with these, this tensioning, it deloads the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the drive rods, um, the connecting rods, I should say. It deloads them, um, so I, I so that's allowed me to build um, lighter connecting rods. Um, I'll just turn the engine over. You can see the see the gear in motion. It should be look quite nice if the thing runs when we try it out. So there we go. So thank you for watching. Um, so now I've got to build up my confidence to, um, to try it out and see what happens. Um, I believe we're going to have a few friends around. Um, I think my dad's dad wants to come over and have a look as, uh, as well as possibly a few other people. Um, yeah, so next time we shall be testing the selling engine out and see whether this, uh, this endeavor actually works or not. See you later. Bye-bye.